Hey guys! I'm so excited that you're joining me on this five day challenge. This really means a lot to me and I'm very excited that you are all here and committed and interested in even learning a little bit more about me and the endo diet. But um, a lot of you guys only know me as this girl that I am today. So I just wanted to take some time and let you know that the person that you see today is not who I always was. Um, I always used to joke around about being the president of Team Fat Kid. <laughs> I never worked out. I almost got sent to summer school a few times for failing gym class. I was never on any sports teams. I never tried out for any sports teams. It just wasn't my thing. I hated working out. I never took care of my body. I never even thought twice about what I put into my body. And I would eat anything and everything. And I grew up on fast food, McDonald's and Mondays. Um, I ate ice cream probably almost every single night. And that was just my way of life. And I didn't even realize that what I was probably doing was harming myself. And my journey with endometriosis probably started when I was about 16. My doctor at the time basically told me that I had endo. Um, but, you know, she I was very young. And then she got pregnant and went on maternity leave and never came back. So I was forced to find other doctors. And fast forward 10 years later, and I finally had a laparoscopy and was diagnosed with endo at age 26. 28 right now. So my journey, I guess, is still fairly new. I know a lot of you have been dealing with endo a lot longer than I have, but when I went to go for my follow-up, not even a week after my lap, I sat down with my doctor and he showed me pictures of my insides, and I was really scared, and I did not like what I was looking at, and he basically gave me two options, um, stay on birth control or take Lupron, and... I just kind of sat there in his doctor's office all alone with tears in my eyes and I had no idea what was going to happen and I just said okay. So I went home thinking that I was going to take these shots. I wasn't really sure what was going to happen and um, I went to sleep <laughs> with my heating pad and I woke up the next morning and I just said no. I was done. I knew that couldn't be right. I knew that it it just didn't feel right. Why would I shut down my body? My insides are already a hot mess. So why would I try to make anything worse? Um, just to be clear, that's my own personal opinion about Lupron. And um, I called him up and I told him no. I actually also just started attending the Institute for Integrative Nutri Nutrition for um, to become a holistic health coach. So I actually, in that moment, decided I was going to make myself my very first client, and I was going to try to help myself and my endo naturally. And that's exactly what I did. I started the endo diet right away, and I fully committed to it. I mean, I was a psycho. I completely cut out everything. I cut out all red meat, all dairy, caffeine, coffee, sugars, everything. I was very strict um, and I was determined. <laughs> and not even two months later in the middle of a conversation, I remember my boyfriend Tom stopped me mid-sentence and was like, you actually haven't been complaining about your stomach once. And in that moment, I realized that this thing was working. Whatever I was doing, it was working. And my life changed. I was able to work out without any pains, was able just to live without any pains. I could go to sleep without having my heating pad on or, you know, crying about my stomach and being so bloated and just being uncomfortable. I didn't have anything, nothing. It was just gone. I, I stopped taking birth control. I've been off every single medication. I don't take any medication anymore. And it's all because of how I changed my diet and sometimes I do slip up and I have things that I probably shouldn't and I pay for it and that's when my endo monster gets very mad. So I truly believe in it because of my personal journey uh, and I have seen others do the same and I know that it really can work. So I just hope you guys all take some deep breaths because this can be overwhelming, changing your lifestyle and we do have a very close relationship with food and you don't realize that until you're forced to remove certain things. And I know that not eating bread or chocolate 
or tomato sauce can be really scary and daunting. But I promise that if you stick to it, it could change your life. So I am very glad that you guys are all here with me and committed to truly trying it, even if it's just for five days. So if you have any questions about me, my journey, anything, um, you guys have my email. You know where to find me on Instagram and on Facebook. And I hope that you guys all stick to it. I'm really excited about day one and day two meals. They are some of my favorite recipes. And I make them in big batches. And I keep them for a few days. <laughs> I'm all about the leftovers and making life easy. So I hope you guys enjoy this challenge. And we will speak soon. Have a great day, guys.